You shut the door loudly and exhaled a few times before throwing your hands and legs as if you're fighting with someone. Your hairs covered your face, but you didn't stop. Stupid coconut head. Just because he became the CEO of because of this rich privilege, he thinks he achieved more than me. I hate you, I hate you, you stupid coconut head. If he wasn't my boss, I might have chopped his hair off of his head. Ah, oh, he's annoying. Jungkook already opened the door and silently watching you behaving like a crazy woman and cursing him. You fixed your hair but then your eyes fell on him and your breath hitched. He walked towards you while you looked around avoiding to look in his eyes. So you have taken lessons from barbers too. I think you should go for therapy too because you really need that. He seems a bit disturbed. You looked at him. Sounds good for you. I'm already fine. You walked away from there while he watched you going and shook his head while exhaling. Good that you didn't change a bit. It would be more fun to work with you, duckling. We have a serious matter to sort out. He opened the door and went inside his office. You put the file on the table more like just dropped it as you hate following his orders but you are bound to do this for the sake of your job or else you'll come on the road without money. What's with your manners? Do I need to teach you your job too? I know how to do my job so just shut the... You pause when you realize you can't talk to him like this, not when he's sitting in a position superior to yours. Shut the... Why did you stop? You look down, pick up the file and again put it back like how you should. Come on. You picked it up and placed it back again but this time a bit slowly. Good. That's how you should walk in front of your boss. You rolled your eyes. Boss left foot. You mumbled while he looked at you. Did you say something? You forced a smile. Your ears are beating sir. He picked up the file and spoke while flipping the pages. Did you bring that special gift that I told you to for Mr. Min's party? Yes, everything is done. He closed the file and stood up before fixing his glasses. Bring my car from the parking lot. We have to go to the mall now. He looked at him confused. Mall? Why sudden you wanna go to the mall? Just do what I said. He slid his hands inside his pockets and walked outside while you mimicked him from the back while following him making weird faces. Don't do this, you're looking like a real duckling. Your eyes widen as how he got to know what you, you were doing without looking at you. He smiled and walked away. You knew he's doing this on purpose so that he can complete his daily quota of annoying you. You were following him everywhere he was going and have to hold all the stuff he was picking for himself. Are you going to buy the whole store now? You finally speak after getting exhausted. He looked at you. Do you have a problem with that? You sighed. He walked away while you followed.
When he was paying the bill, he looked at you. Do you wanna buy something for yourself? You looked at him surprised. It was unbelievable, but you really have something in your wish list to get from this too. You were about to open your mouth, but he told you to follow him. You were a little excited to see what he's going to buy for you, but you looked at him confused when he stopped near an ice cream powder. You can choose whatever flavor you want. You just watched, wanted to smack on his face at this time. He shook his head when he didn't get any response from you. Can't even choose. Give to vanilla. He gave one in your hand knowing then well you, your hands are occupied by his stuff that you were holding. You don't have to thank me. I know I'm so kind. He walked ahead enjoying his ice cream while you were struggling to bring it near your mouth because of all those bags you were holding. Stupid coconut head. What? But it's not work related, so why do I need to attend this with you? Because I'm saying, and I don't want to listen to anything anymore, so just glue your duck lips together and don't speak. Can you please stop calling me with these weird names? Just because you are a boss here doesn't mean I'll step back. I won't listen. He raised his brow and looked at you. Acha, what would you do if I say again, hmm? I'm gonna answer you back. Don't think you can lower me down just because of your position. He got up and started to come near you, making you nervous. He was not pausing so you stepped back but fell on the couch because there was no space. He leaned forward and trapped you between his arms, placing both of his hands on each side of the couch. Let me hear you then, little duckling. You must be doing this to get your revenge on what happened that day, right? He chuckled. I don't remember such useless things, but you must remember very carefully, right? You smirked. Oh God, stop! You, you're making everyone embarrassed. You all covered your eyes as your most loved couple friends were kissing, ignoring everyone as they got this as their. You all were laughing so hard. You looked at Jungkook who was also here even though he takes no interest in such parties and prefer going to clubs and all but he's here today and you know why. Because you also came here and you're observing him from the past few days that he often goes to the places as you do. You both have such a complicated bond. Most of the time he bully you, not like extreme but still annoys you as if it's one of his hobbies. You also never st stepped back from answering him back. You quickly looked away when he caught you staring at him. Okay, okay, now one day for Jungko. You all looked at James. Are you going to start a boxing match here? What? No, please. Don't worry, I'm not going to do anything like that. He turned towards Jungko and smiled. I have more interesting thing than that. Don't just blabber and say what is that. James grinned because he knew what he was going to do. So, if you have to kiss one girl from here, who would you kiss? And you have to actually kiss her. All the girls looked at each other. Sana was also there and she has a huge crush on Jungkook. She's a popular girl that every guy wants to date. Yeah, Jungkook, are you going to do this? You rolled your eyes because you know whom he's going to go after. Sana was smiling internally. If I got the dare, I'm going to do it. With. 
Boy started to cheer when he stood up. You knew where he'll go, but got confused when you see him coming towards you. You know he was just teasing you so that you think he'll kiss you, but later he'll pass by you. You stayed calm, but your heart was beating fast. Everyone was curious to know, but they got shocked when Jungkook came near you and pressed his lips against yours. Your heart stopped beating for a while as you felt his lips on yours. You stayed there in that position for some time, but soon you came into your senses and pushed him before slapping on his face. Ryan, no. Everyone got shocked as you as well. You don't want to slap him to be honest, but don't know why you did that. Sana left from there angrily. Jungkook slowly looked at you. He never expected this. He actually wanted to confess his feelings to you today, and that's why James purposely had him this day because he knew Jungkook started liking you. But something else. He quickly walked away from there without saying a word. What just happened? Jungkook watched you leaving. After that day, you never talk to Jungkook again, and neither he does. You actually felt sorry because you don't want to do that. You also likes him, but now you messed up everything. How can I forget that day? That day was the end of your bullying over me. He chuckled and again looked at you. You know how to satisfy yourself with excuses, right? You didn't say anything and was just looking in his eyes. Your face was just inches away and you could feel his breath hitting your skin, giving you butterflies in your stomach. Never think that I stopped talking to you because you slapped me. It was you who never dared to cross the same path as me because you were guilty. You regretted doing that, don't you? You remained silent. John Jungkook is not a coward who hides his feelings. I do what I want to, and I can tell by looking at you that you still can't get over from me, right? And how can you prove that? He smirked. To continue from where we left it.